Hello, I'm Dr. Alveda King, coming to you from the Priest for Life Studios. I'm Director of African American Outreach, and you can see that at AfricanAmericanOutreach.com. Also, I want to invite you to also visit PoliticalResponsibility.com. Especially during this particular season, this is 2012, in case you're looking at it next year or maybe years from now, you want to sit down with your children or grandchildren and remember that there was a lady in 2012 saying why it is important for Americans to vote, why we must vote. There's a lot of discussion going on during this election, this cycle, saying that, oh, well, I don't agree with the administration. I don't agree with the candidates who are on the ballot. I think I'll just go fishing. There are even pastors who will say, don't go to the polls, not this time. Make a statement by not voting. Well, I want to remind those pastors and leaders who are encouraging their parishioners or in their congregations not to vote, not to go to the polls. Many people died so that Americans could have the right to vote. Many people suffered. You have to remember that prior to 1920 in America, women could not vote. Also, African Americans at one time in our history could not vote. The first African Americans to receive the right to vote, the privilege to vote, the duty and responsibility to vote were African American men because at that time the women had not yet been allowed the privilege and duty of voting. That happened after 1920, all Americans were able to vote and to register with certain limitations. That's still true here in America today. So many people have fought for the privilege and responsibility of voting. My uncle, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., my father, Reverend Alfred Daniel Williams King, my grandfather, Dr. Martin Luther King Sr., all helped to lead the fight for the right and privilege to vote safely in America when African Americans were under attack as they went to the polls in those days to cast their ballot. So it's very important we must vote. Even if we do not agree with the positions of the political parties that are on the ballot, there are candidates on that ballot from the national level, the state level, the county level, the local level. You'll have constitutional issues and referendums. There are many things to vote for. Pray, read your Bible, and then go to the polls and vote. We must vote. We should vote. We will vote. PoliticalResponsibility.com. Dr. Alveda King. God bless you.